Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca Rice and I teach family and portrait photographers to gain a life of freedom through thriving photography businesses. I'm so glad to have you here today. We are talking all about how to set up a gallery preset in pick time. I'm going to share my screen and walk you through the steps so that it'll be really easy for you to go in and create a gallery preset on your pick time account. Let's jump in. All right, guys, first of all, if you haven't watched last week's video, which is my pick time 101 walkthrough, you may want to walk, watch that first because that will walk you through the ins and outs of what all the tabs are in pick time, where to find things, stuff like that. Um, but I'm going to share my screen and walk you through how to create a gallery preset. Before I do, I wanted to tell you about a free class that I have for you guys, and it's all about marketing your mini sessions. So we're here. If you're watching this video, when it goes live, it's time for spring minis. And if you're not already marketing them, you're going to want to think about it doing that soon. And so in this free class, I walk through the three steps that you need to fully book your mini sessions. This class is completely free. You can find it in the description of this video. Um, go watch it because I know it'll be helpful for you. All right, guys, I'm going to take you into my screen and we are going to walk through how to create a gallery preset from scratch. Let's go. Okay, we're in pick time and I want to show you how to set up a gallery preset. So we're going to go over to our settings tab in pick time. Then we're going to click preferences. And this is where you can see project templates. I like to call it a gallery preset. Um, it just makes more sense in my mind. Um, but we're going to come over here and we're going to click the plus sign and we're going to say test. You can call it whatever you want, but this is what the gallery is going to look like. So the first thing that you're going to do, obviously, you're going to select your language and then you're going to select your cover design. So they have a lot of different ones that you can choose from. And just depending on like what your preferred style is, I think I like this one the best. So I'm going to make this one my gallery cover. Um, you can go in and like choose different color sets, too, if you wanted to. You can customize exactly what it looks like. I'm just going to keep it white. Um, and then you're going to go over to photos. So this is where you get to organize the photos in the gallery um, however you want. So for example, you can add a scene for like highlights. And that creates this right here that whenever you create your gallery, it's going to have this little section created where you can add photos to it so that it's kind of like a tab. When your clients are scrolling through their gallery, the highlights tab will be there. And it's like all of your favorites um, as a photographer that you're like, if you're delivering, you know, 50 photos, maybe it's the 15 photos that are your absolute favorites. So that's what they see first. Then we can say full gallery add scene um, and maybe let's say you wanted to add a slideshow too so you could do let me see what is this no that's add video um i think slideshow is separate but anyway you can organize however you want i know like obviously i'm not a wedding photographer but wedding photographers could do like um you know first look details all the different pieces that would be um, a good way to organize for me i like to just do highlights and full gallery i don't think it needs to get any more micro than that um, but if you want to you want to do like just the kids mom and dad whatever you're more than welcome to and if you want to reorder these if you kind of hover over there's that little like um arrow thing you can click that and really easily drag and drop um, but i like to have my highlights first so i'm going to do that so once you're done adding whatever scenes you want, we're going to go to the next tab, which is gallery setup. Um, and this is where you can choose an occasion. I usually don't because we shoot pretty much only family sessions, um, but you can choose an occasion if you want. That's just so that um, you can like uh, filter if you wanted to based on the type. But remember, this is a gallery preset. So whatever you choose here is going to be on every single gallery. So if you really wanted to filter by um, occasion, you may want to create one gallery preset and then duplicate it for each type of session that you shoot. So for example, one for school, one for um, pets, no, like newborn, one for maternity, things like that. And just call it like, um, you know, 
newborn full session, maternity full session, or something like that so that you know what it is. Otherwise, just leave this at general. Then over here on the gallery, you can go to your security policy. So um, if you click this, this will tell you what that means. So normal is best for most client galleries. Sensitive is for private co content like boudoir. Um, and so you can learn more about what that does, but I'm just going to leave it at normal. Um, you can choose if you want this to be a private gallery or a public gallery. That's just based on who can view it. Um, you can select here of when you want it to expire. So I usually like to have it be... 14 days. So they get, you know, two weeks or however long. Um, and you can set that to automatically apply that it'll expire in two weeks. Um, you can choose to show it on your portfolio. I don't use the portfolio um, feature in pick time. If you do, you can choose to show it. Um, request email before entering the gallery. I always have that checked just to make sure like <laughs> we know who's um, entering the gallery. Plus it helps in like email marketing whenever you uh, have like sales and stuff. If you have their email, you're able to, um, you know, send them sale emails for like a Valentine's Day sale or whatever. Um, allow sharing to Facebook, email, whatever. That's just if they want to share the images, um, you can choose to keep that checked or not. Um, and then clients can add photos in the gallery. I don't even know why that's an option. I don't <laughs> let clients add photos to the gallery. That would be really strange. Um, now, this part is really important, especially if you shoot mini sessions or if you limit the number of digitals in your full sessions or whatever. So downloads, for one, you can say um, allow free high-res downloads, allow free web size downloads. So if you're doing mini sessions, you for sure don't want to allow free web size because they're just going to download everything. You can also click to more settings. And so this is where um, you can sell downloads and you would they would be taken to a pricing list um where'd it go you can adjust like what size of downloads and then um you can also limit the number of specific downloads that you want and so i don't know why this is not not letting you check it but this is where you would limit for mini sessions for example um and so if you wanted to allow, you know, free high res photos for a full session, you're going to click yes, all photos, only the main client can download or anybody can download whatever you want. Um, and then you can hit apply and go from there. Um, and then you can set your watermarks down here. You can set what email package. And this again is like customizable in um, the, the main settings of pick time. So you can go in and like create your own email uh, campaigns or use like a pre-made automation. Um, you have your gallery style. So however you want it to be, um, if you keep it as default, that's just what you have in your main settings. Um, and then you can enable flexible playout grids and you can also set music that you want. So if you want to like upload your own song or whatever, then you can have that be like the the norm. Um, you can also set a store like pricing list. So you can go in and set a default pricing list and kind of go from there. Automations and discounts. So in here, this is where you can add different automations. For example, we like to use, um, let me see, explore more apps go away. <laughs> um, I like to use different automations like our early bird automation or our, um, our abandoned cart automation. And so, oops, I got out of it. Let's go back to our test sales automations. Okay. So you can add automations. Um, let's search like, er, uh, abandon here's abandoned cart. So you can add that here and that would go on every single, um, like gallery that you do. And you could explore the automations and um, you know decide what combination you want, but this is where you would add it to your gallery. Um, and then over here for share, this part doesn't really have anything that you have to do for the gallery preset except for this one. So you can allow users to pre-register or request access to the gallery. Um, you can find out more here. For now, I'm just gonna leave that unchecked. Then you can go to workflow and there's other things. I don't really use this section, the workflow section. You can if you want. Um, um, if you have like more back and forth, you want clients to flag photos or whatever for album proofing, I we just don't use this part. So it's totally up to you. Um, but once you have those settings in place, then you can click done. And now you have, here's our test.
workflow. And so when you go to, for example, create a gallery, um, let's say we're doing new client gallery, the first thing that you are prompted to do is to choose a project template. So you can choose test, and then all of the stuff that we already like set up, here's our highlights, our full galleries, our automation, everything is already created. Now you do have to go and like turn it on, um, but you can fill in, you know, the pertinent information, add your photos right here and right here. And it is wonderful that it's already done. So gallery presets save a lot of time, especially in something like pick time where there's so many individual settings that this allows you to set a lot of that just one time up front. Um, and you don't have to go in every single time you create a gallery. So I highly suggest taking the time to create a gallery preset, um, because it makes all the difference. So let me know if you have any questions about this and I'd be happy to help.